Hi, this is Neil from Digital Cloud Training, and in this hands-on lab, we're going to cover creating an AWS free tier account. We're going to discuss what an AWS free tier account is, the inclusions and limitations of a free tier account, and then we're going to actually go through and create a free tier account. So let's get started. We're in the Google Search Console, and we're going to search for AWS free tier. And just under the Microsoft Azure advertisement here, we're going to find AWS free tier. Now let's just scroll down a little and have a look through what types of offers are available to us. So we've got the always free, the 12 months free, and the trials. And we can filter to have a look at what's available to us under each of these offers. So for EC2, we can run a T2 micro instance for 750 hours a month. Under RDS, we can do the same for a DB T2 micro database. Uh, that could be running one of these database engines. And then for Amazon S3, you can see we've got five gigabytes storage included with a certain amount of get and put requests. Under always free, we can see what's available to us past the first year. Um, and that includes a million free requests to Lambda, 25 gigabytes of storage in DynamoDB, uh, and a million SNS publishers. And then under Trials, we can see mostly these are newer services, um, and there's some offers here, and these, these tend to change a bit more often. Um, for instance, you can get 750 hours of a light sale instance, which is uh, similar to EC2, but um, uh, I suppose it's been designed to make life easy for people with less experience of AWS. Now most of what we'll be using is either covered in always free or the 12 months free. So let's go up and click on create a free account. So on this page we just need to enter an email address and an account name as well as a password. You'll now need to enter some contact information, but first you need to select the account type. So the two types are professional and personal. And as it states here, for most situations you're going to need to select personal unless it's business related. So we select personal and we just need to fill out the contact information and then select create account and continue. You now need to enter some payment information. So you'll need your credit or debit card number. And then once you've filled this out, you need to select Secure Submit. Once you do that, you'll be messaged a code to your mobile phone device, which you then need to enter into the console before you can complete the setup of your new account. And that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple process. I hope you enjoyed this lab, and I hope you get to enjoy your AWS free tier account.